Hello and welcome to the RL Fan Report. I'm your host, Big Fan RL. The show is going to be about RLCS related content posted weekly, so if it sucks, just let me know. Since this is episode number one, I thought we'd take a look back at the offseason, but let's be honest, that shit has been touched on a little bit too much, so I'll keep it quick. Is EU the new NA or NA the new EU? Let's start out with the biggest roster move of them all, and that's going to be Seiko moving over to BDS. You heard that right. One of the best in the world, Seiko going over to BDS. Um, is this going to be allowed, Psyonix? Why are there not some policies in place for this type of thing? Another notable move coming from Europe is going to be Archie getting loaned out from Semper over to Endpoint. That's right, loans, people. And anybody saying that we're not tier one eSport? Okay, bud. Are you sure about that? All right, the last roster move I want to touch on is Ghost Gaming picking up Hawks are over from Xset. Um, dropping Roldiz, a quick moment of silence for Roldiz and the fantastic career he's had. All right, that's enough. And with this roster move, we finally get to see the team of Shalion Blazer. Now with this new spring split, there's gotta be a new format and that's gonna be double elimination. That's right, people, get ready for it. Chaos, 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 chaos. Last thing I wanna touch on is the Big Shot Challenge. That's right, fanrl.com ads i brought together some content creators some coaches some players some statisticians some dads all together to play some fantasy rock league on my site fanrol.com if you haven't seen it come check it out now we're moving on to na and of course before every main event there's going to be the closed qualifier and Ruddles just blessed us with this gem oh my neck mm, that hurt all right, on to the main event. And of course, the biggest headline's gotta be NRG. NRG started out day one getting swept by Ghost Gaming. Now you might be saying, well, Ghost has made a roster move. So, you know, you, you can't take that first matchup too seriously. So, all right, well, we'll take a look at the next matchup, which is all mid and they 3-0 all mid. Okay, we all expected that. And now you're starting to think, well, they're facing Rogue next and it looked like they're about to wake up. Can they put games away? Can they put games away? Aqua says go to sleep. It's night night. Just kidding, NRG ends up getting swept by Rogue. This concludes the worst finish that NRG has had in an RLCS tournament since RLCS X. So NRG fans right now. I really quick want to give a shout out to Illusion going from coach to player for Envy and replacing Turbo Pulsar, which I think a lot of people were upset about, but he actually held his own and Envy ends up finishing 5th through 6th in the tournament. Now I mentioned that Ghost Gaming swept NRG, but guess what? The next matchup after that, they go on to sweep version 1. Lion Blaze and Hawks are just looking incredible, and I didn't realize that Hawks are such a good pool player. Going in, off the top corner, 30 seconds left and Ghost still needs one back. Hawks are carrying over. Gets bumped. Oh, the bump. Oh, my goodness. Hoxer. Now it's possible to bring up North America without bringing up G2 Esports. After winning the Winter Major, they come into this Region 1, the favorites, and guess what? They perform like they should. They absolutely dominate it. They beat Space Station in the Grand Finals and win the very first Major of the Spring Split. And uh, imagine being so good that you turn Jorby into a chicken. Huge. That save right there was what kept FaZe Clan at bay and declined and denied them from getting something. And they're still off the crossbar, Jorby. My only question now is, who can beat them? Seriously, I don't know. And if you have an idea, please let me know. All right, now let's head over to the pond to EU. Probably one of the most anticipated teams going into the tournament was Team Liquid. Now, the only problem was they already took an L before the tournament even started. <laughs> have you seen my boy look good enough to make it past offside? Oski. A few moments later. Well, at least I've seen Mike while playing a main event. Oh, big fan! Coming into Violet, Oski. Holy shit! One of the most dominant teams in Europe was Team Queso, winning two of the regionals and finishing second in the Winter Major. Afterwards, though, news dropped that they were going to get picked up by New York. Was it going to be Cloud9? Bro, you know what it was time for. This org... They've been looking for a team for a while, and it was about time they got brought into the RLCS. Nutsack Esports. No, sadly, they didn't get picked up by Nutsack Gaming, but they got picked up by a team with an equally professional name, Moist Esports. 
The owner, Moist Critical, a lot of people know him. Another organization that picked up a team from the winter split offseason was Solar picking up so the flying dutchman the team of Oli, mike boy and though getting picked up and this would prove to be one of the best moves an organization could ever make because they showed up a lot of pressure as well on their on their end that they were able to thwart from solary who had got three shots out in about the first minute and all three of them saved Oli underneath oh, on the wrist oh, holy Solar really put themselves on the map with this tournament, finishing third overall, beating some of the top teams. And I'm expecting that the Flying Dutchman, they're going to keep on flying, baby. Let's move on to a veteran team in Vitality. Alpha 54, the Free Him Award, shout out to Don Glove, finally gets some help in the form of Redosin. He replaces Fairy Peak, and I mean Alpha 54. Non-stop clips the entire tournament. A chronic, a little bit of boom ball here, but great to get to pass out. Alpha not not in not in fear. Redosin over to Alpha. Alpha off the back wall and looking for the shot on net and he's hitting that every single time. I really quick want to touch on Moist Esports one more time. I mean I love to see any new organization coming to the RLCS, but to bring in such a big personality in Moist Critical is huge. And the watch parties are phenomenal. I mean just watch this. What? Oh my oh, god! Just please. send send them home! Oh, good flip! Good flip! Just come please. on! Come on, guys! Come on! Come on. Come on. Yeah. 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 That's going to wrap up NA and EU Regional 1. I really quick want to give a shout out to everyone that's been watching, discussing. Um, in the Discord, we got some debates going on about the RLCS, so feel free to hop in there. That brings us to question number one coming from Book in Discord, and he says, is NRG still a top three team? Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back next week.